Technologically, Avalanche has always been miles ahead of Solana. Solana is a single chain system. Avalanche is a multi-chain system. The two are incomparable. Solana's bandwidth, Solana's capacity is capped. It can only do so many transactions per second. If you throw more, it starts behaving really, really badly. Uh, whereas Avalanche can always spin up a new subnet and, and handle more, more capa add more capacity. So that's a big, big difference between those two systems. And sort of as a technical ethos perspective, um, Solana gets its performance characteristics from engineering, whereas Avalanche gets its performance from better science. So Solana is pushing the, you know, they're building the fastest, fastest horse and buggy that you could imagine. And the fastest horse and buggy, you know, if you attach, you know, whatever, 20 horses uh, to a little cart, it can go pretty darn fast, right? Um, whereas Avalanche is kind of like, an, a, a, like a, like a v, V4 engine. Uh, we started out as a V4 engine, now be, being upgraded to a, to a V8 maybe. And, uh, and the initial V4s were not as good as, as horses and buggies. They were slower initially. So uh, we have a lot of engineering ahead of us, but we don't need new science. We are superior. We are. We have the superior science, and um, and uh, and now, especially with the recent changes with the D upgrade on on Avalanche, uh, we're looking at performance that's really, really. Uh, actually, with the E upgrade, we're looking at performance that's off the charts. With Hyper VM, we're looking at performance that is way off the charts compared to everybody else. So that's true. I think that's just technologically. And, you know, techies can verify these statements for themselves. Um, but economically, Avalanche has lagged behind. Solana has had, um, has had an amazing run, economically speaking. And I'll tell you the reasons for this from the last cycle. For the longest time in the, in the previous bull cycle, I did not understand how Solana was performing so well compared to us. I looked at it as a techie and I was like, look, this is just a run of the mill system. There's nothing here. They just pulled the plugs, made it go fast. If you do that, it will, it will stall every now and then and you'll crash. That's exactly what used to happen to Solana. It still does. So, uh, but then it turned out when Alameda crashed, it turned out that they were outperforming us economically because Sam was selling other people's AVAX and buying SAM tokens, Solana, Serum, FTT. So this is all a matter of court records. This is all stuff that has come out as a matter of, of uh, court verified proceedings. So uh, in the last bull cycle, let me repeat, Solana and Avalanche went head to head in a manner that defied logic for a technologically inclined person. And, um, and it turned out that the reason they went head to head is because there was a huge market imbalance. Somebody was fraudulently selling people's AVAX and buying Solana. So um, imagine how strong our rise up would have been had that not happened. That's a, that's a matter for the history books. That's a matter for aficionados to sort out, you know, 10, 20 years from now. Uh, but it was, it, was, it was heartbreaking to see, and, uh, but it is what it is. So that's what happened there. Um, now, what's going to happen? In the, what's been happening in this cycle? Well, in this bull cycle, uh, Solana had a very good run, partly due to a short squeeze and maybe to other stuff that we don't know about yet. And um, that's okay. That's fine. You know, I, I don't know everything that happens around the world. We typically find out way too late and, and way after the fact. And, um, and it's fine. Once again, um, in the long term, the only systems that will be around are those that can handle the capacity requirements of all these demanding applications. Single chain systems have no chance. So Solanas of the world, Ethereums of the world are single chain systems. They can only handle so much. And Avalanche stands apart. And so as we get more demand, we're going to see more and more deployments who come to Avalanche because they need something that works. As long as the space is speculative, as long as the use cases are synthetic, constructed, fake, etc., then, uh, then of course it's a different universe. Then everybody looks kind of awash, etc. But uh, but as we get more genuine users of blockchains, then the technologies that accommodate them will stand apart, as Avalanche has been. So I'm not really concerned about these uh, you know differences in the short short term. Um, but in the long term, I know which systems are going to be ahead.